Well, good afternoon, and this is Pastor Hayton with the Lord Lights Devotional. I played a rerun a time or two here lately because of the fact that uh, not that I've been so busy, even though I have been busy, uh, it's not that I'm lazy because I've been called a lot of things, but I don't think anybody has ever called me lazy. But I do have to say that I have been battling this vertigo for a couple of weeks or so now. And uh, somebody told me vertigo won't kill you, just kind of enjoy it. I haven't found anything to enjoy about it yet. It kind of comes and goes, and uh, it seems like here the last few days it's been coming more than it's going. But I'd like to sit down with you for just a few minutes today and, and uh, share with you something that uh, I've been thinking about earlier today. I like to practice what I preach, and I believe that uh, all of us, all of we preachers need to practice what we preach. It isn't don't do as I say, but uh, do as I do. And I do want to uh, set an example and, and to follow my own preaching. And Sunday I preached about seek ye the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near. And of course we mentioned that the sinner needs to seek the Lord for salvation. And a lot of times we think that that verse it's just a text for the sinner. But I say that uh, oftentimes we need to uh, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found as a saint and as a struggling saint. There are a lot of things that we struggle with in life. We struggle with uh, the weakness of the flesh. We struggle with the frailty of humanity. We struggle with the enemy of the soul that is out to defeat each one of us and uh, just so many things that uh, cause us to struggle. The Apostle Paul said, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against uh, uh, principalities and the powers of darkness. And, and our uh, struggles are spiritual in nature. And so I think about the struggles that we have and how we are to seek the Lord in the midst of the struggles of life. And one thing that I struggle with sometimes is uh, wanting to know why. You know why, Lord? Why me, Lord? Uh, very seldom do we face a difficulty or an adversity, but what the question comes to our mind, why me, Lord? We struggle with why God allows adversity into our life. We struggle with why God would permit us to get sick. We struggle with why God would take one of our loved ones. And I guess it's just human to say, why, Lord? Why did this happen? Or why did you let that happen? I think about uh, my dear little wife. If there's ever a saint, she is one. And yet she struggles with this uh, intense pain, severe pain, day after day. And, and I often say, why, Lord? Uh, good woman, we pray for her. We've asked you to touch her. Uh, she takes her medicine and... Uh, you know, we just can't understand why the Lord would allow people to suffer. But uh, James said, think it not strange, because uh, we want to, all of us have our adversities, and we're all going to uh, go through the trials and the testings and the tribulation of life. And so it's common to all men, and yet we still are prone to say, why, Lord? Our good brother Larry, who's been diagnosed with terminal cancer, why, Lord, a good man, strong supporter of the church, a good prayer warrior, why, Lord, why would you let something like that happen to someone like him? Well, we struggle with a good many things, don't we? We want to know the reason why when uh, things uh, don't go the way we think they ought to go or adversity strikes. Uh, but all I can say is that in the midst of the struggles, Seek you the Lord. God will be there with you, and God will be on your side. He may not always dispel the, the troubles. He may not always uh, solve the problem, but I guarantee you that if we seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near, we will have his presence in the most perplexing and difficult times of our life. And oh, what a joy it is to have his presence Heavenly Father, help us that even amid the difficulties, the adversities, the trials and the tribulations, when we struggle with wanting to know why, 
Lord, may we look to you and may we be able to put our complete faith and our trust in you, knowing that you are a God that doeth all things well, and you will be faithful to us. So help us to seek the Lord when we're struggling. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Light's Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.